Uh, right, I'm George Benz from Fife in Scotland, um, riding in the superbikes and the Superstock Senior in the TT and now I've got a ride for Paul Brandon, Kingston University in a new TTX bike. Looking forward to this, new innovations and yeah. see how we go. What's your background in uh, the TT? Um, I've actually been coming over to the Isle of Man for about 30 years now, yeah, watching years. and mechanicing, pit boarding. Started riding the TT in 1998 as a newcomer, and I've been here for the last 10 years. About we're doing just well. Once we get the batteries and everything sorted out, I could do a bit of setup on the motorcycle. Just right. but riding around the test track in Derby here, it seems to be actually handle quite well, and it's Correct. I'm quite happy with the, so the way right I can now. fit on the bike. I'll get my own guy, my own mechanics, just to check the bike over chassis-wise before we actually do the race. Great. Um, the brakes and everything seem fine, as I say, it's, it's like riding a normal motorcycle. And I'd say it compares to weight with my actual superbike and things like that, it's not any heavier. Than <coughs> that. The cornering seems fine, um, we're going to work on it, there's a little bit of ground clearance, but I don't think that's an issue. I think we should get around, no problem. Thanks, George. Okay. Thank Yeah, we're just, uh, just coming now. It's uh, been out last 15 laps. Okay. And we're just trying to trace the fault that keeps cropping up um, with a, a low voltage cutout. Uh, so, let's go back and analyse that now to see, to see where we are with it. Okay. How's uh, it going to kill with the mountain? We think pretty well. Yeah. We've got a three speed gearbox on there. Um, which we feel is critical to going up and down. Um, Another bike over there, the Bramo. Yeah. Doesn't go any gears at all. No, most of them are direct drive. Yeah. 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 Maybe we've got it wrong. We'll see. Yeah. Most of it, you think gears are going to be helpful, wouldn't you? I don't know. I assume so, but because there's so few people with that with gears, I just. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> how, long, how long has this idea been um, in development? We started in November. Right. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, that is an incredibly short time <laughs> no, to get some package like this together. Which is why we're you know, frantically now just trying to iron out the bugs. Yeah. It's, it's got the energy to get around the track. We did uh, 19 laps yesterday. We only used half the batteries. Right. Um, so that's 38 laps. Five miles. Yeah. It, it, it could do, but it, it's, it's just cutting out. We just need to try and find out why, which is why we strapped the laptop to it today to log everything you know, to understand it so we can go back and have a look at that. And I mean, obviously, I see the Kings of University logo. Is this something which students have been working on? Yeah, Alex is one of my students. In fact, he designed the gearbox. We run a course in motorcycle engineering. You can hear it and the mechanical noise as well, but you can actually hear the electric motor slowing down and picking up as you're feeding them back and forward. So it's, it's quite easy to drive, right? Yeah, yeah. I was quite surprised. Yeah. Everybody thinks, oh, they'll be totally silent and you won't know what you're doing. But yeah. Yeah. this one, I don't know what any of the other ones do, but this one's... Are they all, they're all better than those noises there. Yeah. No, because there's a lot of other noise yeah. right And yeah. everybody's looking at you going, what? <laughs> so are these road legal? That one is, but I mean, I've... That one could be road legal. I mean, if we can stick, if we've got the registrations on that, we'll be back in time. Yeah, if we can change it to a vehicle, we've stuck a plate. 